In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four arrow options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works when I click the first option comes. I have added one rectangular shape here, then I have added uh, arrow design with option number one. You can add the icon and some detailed text and I have given some reflection effect at the bottom. So when I click, it will show you the second option, the third option and the fourth option with different uh, arrow colors. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe, make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose a rounded corner rectangle, draw a rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement. You can increase or decrease the size and then these corners, I'm just going to drag it outside. To make it less curved in the corner then go to the shape format shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this color with white then go to insert shapes from the block arrows i'm going to choose a arrow right draw an arrow right like this you can see here and again shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to make it somewhat transparent the reason why i'm doing i'll just explain uh, in few moments so i'm just going to rotate it you can do the rotation either with the help of this you can see here this uh, curved arrow or you can uh, hold the alt key and then the left arrow key also you can you can see here you can do like this okay and then i'm just going to place it exactly like this you can see here it should make sure that this should not overlap or should not uh, go beyond this uh, white rectangle all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is for a safer side i'm just going to duplicate the slide okay if something goes wrong i have the slide for me to work on all right so now what what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this uh, uh this uh, arrow and make sure that the arrow this side from the down it should always be out outside of the 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 white rectangular okay then go to the shape format merge shapes and i'm going to just say uh, fragment when i say fragment i can delete this part and this particular thing you can see here it becomes like this and sometimes when i click maybe it is there's some gap and it doesn't matter so now i'm going to select this one select the gradient fill the gradient fill i'm going to use maybe your two or three stops so i can just add any stop for example i'll go to the more colors and here i'm going to choose a maybe a darker kind of a orange you can see here and then here i'm going to choose a kind of a lighter one and then for this i'm going to choose more lighter one kind of a yellow all right and click ok and then the direction i'm going to change the direction to this one so it looks something like this and then i'm going to select this one go to the effects shadow and i can just choose any shadow effect here which is like this all right so we end up getting a shape like this now i'm going to insert some text so i'll just say here option i'm going to use the font open sans right align and if you want you can make it bold also but it's up to you all right and then i'm going to insert one more font i'm going to type 01 and here i'm going to use open sans condensed increase the size make it a white font center align and put it here okay again you can increase further and if it is not visible the white is not visible you can just change the color or you can change this color also instead of i can just delete also it looks something like this you can see here so two colors only i'm going to use so it now it is visible or you need to change the color of this and once this is done i can go to insert icons and choose any icons for this particular option so i'm going to choose uh, maybe a light bulb click insert i'm going to make it 0.7 the height and width again white fill i can make it somewhat transparent and just put it this side all right then go to insert text box you can add detail text here again i'm going to use the font open sans 
all right if you want to reduce the font size center align and put it here and once this is done i'm going to select all the options press ctrl g to group it then you go to the effects and go to the reflection and you can just give any reflection again this reflection if you want you can reduce the size we can see here like this you can reduce the size and then i'm just going to place it here now i'm going to duplicate this by holding the control shift key and drag this one so this is my second option this is my third option and this is my fourth option so i'm just going to change this one to two three and this is four now i'm just going to select this one i can give any color of my choice for example i'm going to go to more colors i can give a dark purple uh, with a lighter purple or some other color of your choice you can see here like this you can do it so here i can give maybe some kind of a uh, this one kind of a bluish green and then i can just give this teal color like this okay so like these colors you can just use let's give some color for this as well maybe i'm going to use a kind of a dark blue with a kind of a pink or maybe i can just choose some this color also you can see here and then the icons you can just change accordingly and then you can just select all these options and you can close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and i can use the fly in option and this should happen on click all and right mouse click and go to the effect options i can increase the bounce and and click ok so it comes like this